there's this huge gap between what is now understood by the relevant scientists and what is known by the people who need to know, and that's the public. Because to the scientists, we know about these long response times of the system. The fact that it takes time for the ocean to warm up and to have its full effect. It takes time for ice sheets to disintegrate. It takes time for the methane hydrates to really come out in a large amount. And so we see these things beginning to happen and we say, oh my gosh, we've got to tell somebody. But to the public, they don't see that much happening. You know, the weather looks, well, maybe a little different. We're getting storms a little bit stronger and more extreme temperatures, but not very much different. And so it's hard for the scientists to make the public realize that we do have an emergency. If we continue to burn all the fossil fuels, we will certainly get those effects. We can't say exactly what date the ice sheet is going to collapse, but we know that the ice sheets will collapse and sea level will go up many meters. We know that methane hydrates eventually will come out. We can't say when it's going to be really rapid because these are what we call nonlinear problems, which means, you know, it's like, it's like the stock market. If we have bad economic policies, we, we know eventually it's going to cause the stock market to have a problem and collapse, but we can't predict when that's going to happen. It's, it's a, a difficult problem, and that's why it's difficult for scientists, because we can see that there's a problem, but how do we get the public to feel it? If we run around with our hair on fire, well, after a while they say, well, there's that guy with his hair on fire again.